Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Allie here on Crooked Nature. I just wanted to take a few quick moments today to talk to you about the Hartley philodendron. This is a gorgeous specimen. It's the philodendron heteraceum. Um, it is a flowering plant in the family Araceae and it's native to Central, um, Central America and the Caribbean. This guy right here, if it does flower and it takes a lot of um, maturity and sunlight, good soil, fertilizer, like all the good things. And it really needs to be outside as much as possible, all like all the time if you want it to flower. And it will occasionally do so. Apparently the flowers are a spath, a green spath with a white flower. And if you know what I'm talking about, um, or if you don't, try to look it up. I, I had a little bit of a hard time finding the flowers, but I did find a few pictures. I don't have the ability to put them on here because I haven't figured out my uh, editing that well yet. <laughs> but maybe I'll get there and I'll be able to put photos in if I can, if I get the chance. Um, just today, though, I'm just going to talk about this, this absolutely, this lovely little specimen right here. It is very healthy. I've had it for quite a while. If I was to unwind all of its vines, which it's actually hanging over the back of a, and down the front of the shelf and down the side of the shelf, um, I want to say that these vines are actually four to six feet long. They are very long. They, they probably would touch the ground if I hung them from my ceiling. Um, they are extremely prolific growers. They are going to make you happy. They grow so fast. You can make more of these guys, stick them in pots and put them all around your house. It's going to grow in low light and it's going to grow good in low light. Actually, the leaves will be smaller. They won't be quite as large, but they're still going to be pretty. So instead of being this big, they may be, they'll be like this big. Okay. And that's, that's actually a really good comparison. Now, if your leaves look like this, whenever they're you know, new, and they kind of have, I don't know if the camera's really getting much of the reddish color that's going on there, but if it is, that's great. Let's see, it's kind of a brown on the on the camera, that, like what I can see, but it's it's got like a burgundy reddish color to the new leaves. Let's see, any down here? Can you catch that little red, that color, that tint in there? Me, I don't know if the camera's really getting it or not, but it's very pretty, and it's totally normal. They're going to get just greener and darker as they as they get as they grow and they uh, um, mature this guy it's gonna do you can propagate it in soil you can propagate it in water you can absolutely take this and take cuttings from this and other vines and make beautiful flower arrangements well, vase arrangements with vining plants and give them to your friends and like make them some of the best presents that they're ever going to get. They're going to love it. They're going to think that you you just have done something and like spent a lot of money. Okay. Now these guys are prone to some pests. Mealybugs absolutely love them. Um, Mealybugs and if you put them outside, I have had some issues with leaf cutters, specific uh, leaf cutter bugs. And I don't know if the grasshoppers got a hold of this guy, but they might have. I can't remember if I ended up having to remove any grasshoppers from it or leaves from that specific thing. Um, they really do do fine with low light, these guys here. But if, if you can give them a lot of light, they are going to go crazy. And they are going to be so pretty for you. They... They shouldn't be expensive, by the way. This this should not cost you very much at all. So if you're gonna if you're gonna buy these um, from a box store, twenty to thirty dollars for a really nice pot is is exactly what you should pay, and maybe a little less. Honestly, you might be able to get away with like ten to fifteen, just depending. Um, if you're gonna sell them yourself at a farmer's market, I would consider you know if you're just reusing old pots that you've bought and things like, or you know from things that you've repotted, up potted, killed off, done whatever with, maybe consider selling them for five to seven dollars a piece for a nice little full uh, pot for them. Um, and that depends on your size, your preference, where you are, and what you think you should get for your stuff. You know, it, be competitive. These are great plants and <laughs> they, they are just so awesome. People love them. They are hard to mess up. In the sense that, like, if you notice that this guy is doing badly, take cuttings from him. Anywhere that there is a node, 
you're going to be able to get some root growth out of, or at least you should. So if you have a plant and it's dying right here, but you have all of this and it's alive, you can just take those Cut them into littler pieces, okay? Make sure that there is a growth node, a growth point, which I will do a video for you guys as soon as I can um, about propagation because it's a lot of fun as well as informative. Uh, if you don't know, you don't know. And if you don't know, you don't know <laughs> until somebody tells you. And that makes you kind of feel bad when people are like, how did you not know? And you're like, well, because I didn't know yet. And that's that's where we're at right here. So I will get to that and I will hopefully get you guys a propagation video. But like I said, take take cuttings from it and save it. You can save this plant. You can generally save a lot of this plant um, if, if you've got a root rot issue, which they really like to have water, but if too much water is going to rot their roots and eventually you'll come over to your pot and your whole plant is just going to come off your pot because none of the roots are in the soil anymore. And you're going to have to propagate it. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. This is plenty of time talking about a beautiful plant. I hope you guys loved it. I love it. I think, oh, look at the shiny. Sorry, distracted myself. I think, I think this will make you a great addition to your home. Put it anywhere in your house. Decorate with it. Put it on your table. Like I said, make faces of vines. It's just so nice. Anyway, you guys have a great day. If you get one of these, I hope you love it. Thank you for watching.